Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Swings and we are here in the Swingnasium. You're watching the Swingdom. Uh, we're doing another product testing today. As you can tell from behind me, I've got the Skytrack. If you can't tell, I've got this bad boy right here. Now you really can't tell because I've got it in the Skytrack metal thing, but it is a photoscopic golf range finder tracker. It does it all. You can play simulations on it. I tend to use it mostly just for practice. Um, I've had this about a year now. I freaking love it. It is a very, very cool thing. It's in the $2,000 price range, so it is on the low end of a golf simulator, golf hitter thing compared to the other ones you can buy, which are upwards of 20 grand, 25 grand with a full kit setup, they can get to 80 grand. Um, it's a cool thing. Just let me just thank my wife for letting me buy this. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be able to play golf nearly as much as I do. So thank you, honey. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so why don't we, uh, it's a fairly simple thing. I put the metal case on it because every now and then I shank it and I don't, that doesn't, I'd rather do that than actually like break and hit the, the, the plastic and metal build that it is. So, so if it's a little plastic, you know, you can just get it like this, you can just set it up like this. I think the case was an extra $150, $200. It's steel, it comes with some feet, you can balance it. It's got the little balance thing on top of it. Um, the number one question you always see with this is how accurate is it? You know, it's about a tenth of the price of the ones you see the professionals using. So for a tenth of the price, is it only 10% as accurate? We're gonna plug it in, we're gonna find out on the swing zone. All right, so I've connected it. The nice thing is, is it actually connects through its own little Wi-Fi band to your computer. What I prefer to do is plug it in USB so I don't have to worry about the battery life on it. It goes directly to my little laptop. Um, and I've already, I've just had a practice shot on there just so that you can sort of get an idea of, uh, of how, it, of, of the numbers that you get with it. Um, I've got my eight iron out. I just so I got my yardage book. It's copy, I copyrighted it. It's just copyright on it, so nobody can steal it. Put that over here. Got my glove out. Um, so it is like it's a. It, it does it basically with high speed cameras. So you're gonna want a golf ball with visible markings on it because it bases the spin rate, the trajectory, and the speed off of the photos it takes of your golf ball. It's got a red laser. So unlike the more expensive ones where you, it doesn't matter where you put it down. With the Skytrack, you very specifically put it on the red laser. I've got my eight, my, my eight. I've got my eight iron here. Um, I hit this about 155, 160 yards in the air. Usually rolls out to about 165, 170. Um, let's. I haven't warmed up at all. So let's just let's see what happens. That one's gonna leak out just a little bit, right? You think so? I do. Call that a fade. I feel like I got most of the ball. Oh, 173 in the air. I caught that one a little bit cleaner than I probably should. But it's not so far off that I wouldn't consider it accurate, accurately. My ball hit there, that would have been the ball flight. 18 yards to the right. What's that? 50 feet to the right. It's not a great golf shot, but it's okay. It's got my carry here. It's got my total yards shot, and then I can, if you upgrade the package uh, and pay an extra hundred dollars a year, you can actually change out all your practice areas, play closest to the pin. We'll do that in one of the next videos. Um, down here we've got side angle, side spin, 457. That's a decent amount of side spin. Club speed was 84 miles an hour, ball speed 117. That is fairly accurate. Back spin was 4,500. My launch angle was 25 degrees. Makes sense. 
my 8 iron is probably probably about 40 ish degrees. They do, I know they have lofted these down a little, a little bit, so it's probably 40 ish degrees, and I'm getting my hands in front of it. And the ball angle will be 25. Um, gives me the height of the yard, and it gives me the degree of descent, which I think is information not everybody really needs. I'm not exactly doing club fitting, I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just here practicing. Um, I know that I hit this sort of 165, so I'm trying to keep it in that range. I did go after that last one, so I'll hit another one and 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 uh, and just see if I can get a nice, clean, normal eight iron shot. So that one should be dead straight, a little bit of a fade. Yeah, I think it's a little bit hyped up right now which is okay, 169, so it's probably about three to five percent longer than I normally hit this club. Um, I know that, I'm in the range. That ball flight looks pretty much exactly how it felt. I, can, not, I don't want to change it, but there are probably certain aspects of it of where if I move the sky track, you can line it up, you can align the sky track, and at that point, you can really sort of perfect all of this. Um, in the practice area, you can put a green out there and say 165 yards, 170 yards. You can make the green different sizes, and then you can keep a percentage of greens hit. There is a randomized mode as well, which is really cool. So say you want to do a medium-sized green, you can then randomize it between sort of 30 yards and 120 yards and practice your wedges. We're going to get all this into all of this in a different video. Right now, I just want to sort of show you that. Look, 83, club speed, 115 ball speed. Spin rate's about the same, angle's a little bit lower, which is why I went a bit further. Uh, it's just fun to be able to hit at home, not have to worry about the weather, not have to worry about a ton of the other stuff around here, and um, yeah, just practicing golf. No, I think that one went right again. Straight down the middle. See, and that's what I'm going to figure out. As I hand it on this, I haven't glued this mat down yet. Um, so, that might just be a little bit of the trajectory. It's fine. I am hitting it 165 yards. My average total is 174, and that's what I'm hitting it. So, it is very consistent. So, if you feel like there's an issue with an actual distance, there are parameters in the software that you can adjust, but it is as as a simulator, as a golf practice machine, it's actually, it's actually quite good. It's really good. I highly recommend it. It's my favorite golf toy that I own. Skytrack in a nutshell. Um, you're going to see this loads of times on the channel. We're going to start reviewing actual clubs. We are going to review golf balls. We're going to review golf ball. anything we can get our hands on. So um, thank you guys for watching the Swingdom. Thanks for joining us in the Swingnasium. Uh, I'm Ben. Don't forget to check out Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe. You get the notifications. Hit the bell. Like this video. It's a good video. I've worked really hard on it. Dan's worked hard on it. Bangers worked hard on it. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys out of the links. You've been watching The Sweetdom. Give us a thumbs up, smash subscribe, 
ring the bell for notifications. Yeah, we'll give it to you this time. 